So growing up, who's who was your the person who influenced you? Who's the person who who started you out on your cigar uh your cigar journey? Oh, great question. Well, you know, I'm I'm originally from Key West, Florida. Okay, you can't get no closer to Cuba than Key West, 90 miles from Cuba. That's where I grew up. Uh, the person that influenced me most on the cigar side, I would say uh, there's, a, there's a lot of people, but I would say the Cuban heritage. I know it's not a person, but let's talk about the Cuban heritage. Yeah. When you go down to Key West, you know, you see people, they're fishermen, they got a cigar in their mouth. They're playing dominoes, they got a cigar in their mouth. They're going to the nearest nightclub, they got a cigar in their mouth. So it became a way of life. In the in the mornings when they have the cafe con leche, you know, they're having a cigar. You know, they're, they're it's, it's just a whole culture. But I would have to say my dad, my dad inspired me to start Cubano Cigars. He passed in 26, uh, 2019. And actually on our bands, it has 1946, very significant. 1946 was the day he was was the year he was born. So you know we 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 pay homage to our heritage, and at the end of the day, you know cigars are about family, bringing people together. It's about you know relaxing. You know most 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 most, most cigar smokers they like this all day, but a cigar helps you do this. You know yeah. Cubano cigars put you in that vibe where you feel like you know what I have really conquered today. Now it's time for relax. It's my it's, it's my me time as they call it. <laughs> oh man i definitely find myself doing that a lot like smoking a cigar like i just want to i just want to zen out do it do it let's get it all right hey what's going on youtube this is your man bobby saunders uh from sticks and convos your favorite cigar podcast uh you better recognize that all right you don't we don't we don't play games around here all right so, hey, just want to let you know, we got the cigar that we are smoking today. The cigar I'm smoking today is the Liga uh, T52, you know, a little short, intimate joint right here, uh, you know, mid-body type of type of cigar. Um, location I brought it at was the uh, Casa de Cent uh, Monte, Monte Crisco uh, up there in uh, Morrisville, North Carolina. Shout out to them. Dad, we got the special guest that here on today. He is the owner, operator, everything above with, you know, uh, Cubano Cigars. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Glad to be on Sticks and Combos. This is an epic moment here. So, you know, we, we, about, to, we, we about to ride on out with some good cigars, you know, and, and definitely uh, do our thing and have some, some conversation, some good conversation, Bobby. Definitely, definitely. I appreciate you being on and taking the time to actually be on this on this platform. It's definitely an honor and a blessing. Um, hey, salute those. Let's get to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, so that uh, where we we met at the Invest Fest 2022, mm -hmm. Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I was walking through the. Was it called the was it the merchandise area? Yep, yep, yep. The 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 uh, ex, ex, exposition hall with the vendors. Yep. yep. There we go. The vendors hall. I was walking through, and I was like, man, I'm like, I need a cigar. I just consumed so much information. <laughs> I need to relax. <laughs> and I came across Cubana cigars, and I was like, oh man, I need I need something. So I you know talked to that, and he uh, he was like, hey man, I got this pack of five you know boom 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 i was like yeah i need that and i was like hey we so happen to got a cigar uh podcast too he was like what let's go that's too easy <laughs> so so that's how we connected uh which is you know truly a blessing um that we can be able to connect in that in that way and factor um tell me a little bit about because we talked you know everybody every cigar brand has a usually you have a, a beautiful a beautiful story a beautiful back end story mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about the uh cubano cigars absolutely well you know what's interesting is that cubano cigars is in my heritage my family is originally from cuba and we've been in the cigar business since the 1800s let me say that again the 1800s so when you come to our cigar establishment we have a retail center here at Stone. At Stonecrest, Georgia, the new Black Wall Street, uh, you we have a, a a family tree right there on the wall, 
that takes you from the 1800s all the way to myself. So we have a rich heritage of cigar rollers. My great, great, great grandfather was a torcedor. Torcedor means for all you cigar aficionados, master, master roller. So that's almost like the sensei in karate. You know, they bought the craft from Cuba to the United States uh, via uh, Ybor City and Key West, Florida. So, you know, we have a long history of cigar brands is in my blood. I'm a CPA by trade, but I say cigar is my it's my guilty pleasure. You know, cigar helps you relax. It helps you, you know, re, re, rejuvenate. You know, I tell people all the time at the Best Fest, I told, I told the guys there, hey, billionaires smoke cigars. So, you know, you got to have that billionaire uh, mentality with a nice stick at all times. But we are a pr premium cigar, Cuban seed, grown in Nicaragua. And, you know, we're, we're, we're making some numbers. We're making some noise here here in Atlanta, Georgia. That's dope. That, that's that's awesome. Absolutely. So that's that's a beautiful thing that you can, that, you know, your great, great, your, your ancestors created something like this. So now that's a good man in the, in the, in the terms of, of God, right? So it's like, oh, yeah. you know, he created something that generations and generations can, can thrive and build on. So are you a, a master roller? Well, well, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, we, we have master rollers. We have a whole uh, cigar farm in Nicaragua. Ooh. I'm not a master roller per se. I'm a master smoker. So, <laughs> so, <let's go>. so, <laughs> so, so at the end of the day, you know, uh, most, <laughs> most people, they get the cigars and they get their own brands and they think it's cool. Is you know, it's something, it's a new thing. Hey, this has my family name written all over it. And, you know, we, 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 sport, we sport the hats, we sport the sticks, and we just have a good time. We're a good premium cigar. If you want a good premium cigar, you don't have to look no further than Cubano cigars. Dope, dope. Yeah, I have, like I said, I brought, uh, you know, it was a pack of five of them. Uh -huh. And the, the best one that I smoked, I think it was the uh el presidente it was like the short one yes with... yes sir yes that sir one. we have oh yeah we have five blends um uh, el presidente is uh is, is uh, a torpedo is a mandoro with a cadella leaf uh intertwined within it so we're very particular about you know most cigars smokers they get one stick and it gives you the same type of smoke every single time yeah. we're big on having six to change it for instance we have the kokomo the Kokomo has three sticks in one. I like it has, that. Wow. Oh, it's incredible. It has the Habano, which is our medium blend. And then the middle piece is very unique. It's called the, uh, the Cadella leaf. The Cadella leaf is only found in Cuba. It's a green leaf. And it uh, was the favorite leaf of, of um, John F. Kennedy. Matter of fact, we, we, we just introduced a full Cadella leaf, all green. Mm. Something very rare. And, oh and and then we it finishes off with a Mondoro. So, you know, we do that in a barber's pole. Um, we do box press barber's poles. You know, we have five blends. We have the Cuban blend. Now this one, check this one out, Bobby. Sticks and combos audience. This is premium stuff right here. It has a, it has a, uh, it's, it's, it's a, a bottle leaf and it's aged in cognac for six months. And I know most cigar smokers say, you know, I don't like my stuff touched or aged. Well, listen, aged in cognac for six months, even your most uh, influential cigar owners, they, they we sell out every single week. Then we have a full body Mondoro called El Boss. You know, I think, you know, if you're smoking a cigar and you're a boss, that's a full body Mondoro El Boss. And then we have the Valdez. The Valdez has my grandmother's maiden name. That's the... Uh, Connecticut, and then I'm holding, I'm smoking tonight. It's a Havana, a Habano leaf. And, you know, we're, we've been on, uh, we've been doing some big things. We've been on Married to Medicine. We've been on Wild and Out. We did the NFL, the only cigar brand that did the NFL draft. I don't know what all these other folks are talking about, but we were the only ones there. So, you know, we, we're just, we're just making big moves. We're just, we're just glad to be part of the culture and we're just going to re, reinvigorate it. We're very proud of our heritage, but most importantly, we got a great stick. So, Dope, yeah. Those cigars was phenomenal. Like every single one of them was 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 premium. It was good. Like, yeah, I'm gonna have to buy me a, a, another set of those, most definitely. Um, uh, tell me about. Um, let's go back a little bit uh, further. Um, growing up, 
because everybody has their own experiences when it comes to cigars and you know cigars i feel like cigars is like a person where not every single person is the same and that's the saying i would say for cigars not every every single cigar is the same it gives a different experience every time so growing up who's who was your the person who influenced you or who's the person who who started you out on your cigar uh your cigar journey oh great question well you know i'm i'm originally from key west florida okay you can't get no closer to cuba than key west 90 miles from cuba that's where i grew up uh the person that influenced me most on the cigar side i would say uh there's a there's a lot of people but i would say the cuban heritage i know it's not a person but let's talk about the cuban heritage yeah. when you go down to key west you know you see people they're fishermen they got a cigar in their mouth they're playing dominoes. They got a cigar in their mouth. They're going to the nearest nightclub. They got a cigar in their mouth. So it became a way of life in the in the mornings when they have the cafe con leche. You know, they're having a cigar. You know, they're it's it's just a whole culture. But I would have to say, my dad. My dad inspired me to start Cubano cigars. He passed in 26, uh, 2019. and actually on our bands it has nineteen forty six. Very significant. 1946 was the day he was was the year he was born. So you know we 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 pay homage to our heritage, and at the end of the day, you know cigars are about family, bringing people together. It's about you know relaxing. You know most 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 cigar smokers they're like this all day, but a cigar helps you do this. You know yeah. Cubano cigars put you in that vibe where you feel like you know what. I have really conquered today. Now it's time for relax. It's my it's, it's my me time as they call it. <laughs> oh man i definitely find myself doing that a lot like smoking a cigar like i just want to i just want to zen out you know smoke cigar like you know i usually don't drink when it comes to like uh smoking cigar i usually like drink like some juice or whatever people might say i'm weird or whatever but that's my that's 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 you know that's my identity when it comes to cigars so um absolutely that's pretty, that's pretty cool that um you know, you, you grab that experience from, you know, your, your Cuban heritage and you was able to experience that heritage. Um, and, you know, that, that, that culture really had a big impact on, on your experience of, you know, smoking cigars and things of that nature. That's, that's definitely dope. Um, so when did, when did you started to transition more into like you know you say that your your dad uh started the cubano cigars when did you start transitioning more into like the business realm of the cigars well you know i'm a cpa by trade and i'm all about making money um you know cigars are a way i used to own a real estate company and i always every time i close a deal you know you, you top it off with a nice cigar uh, on the business side uh cigars are a culture but it's more than just, you know, a one-time thing. It's not just the only thing that's in. You know, I, I look for people that are true cigar aficionados. If you want a good stick, you want a good smoke, you want something consistent. Because I remember when I didn't have a cigar brand. And this was this was what inspired me to own a cigar brand, was when I used to go into a cigar bar, a cigar lounge, and spend top dollar on a cigar. And you puff on it three or four times. We've all had that experience. Like, oh, this is junk. You know, yeah. I wasted my money. And it's not like you could go back at Walmart and take the cigar back and say, you know what? This wasn't really hitting on nothing. Can I get an exchange? You know, I, I don't know. I don't know how y'all do it there, but around here, you can't do that. Well, nah. here's what I wanted to create. Being from Key West and having a Cuban heritage in me, I know what a good cigar should taste like. You know, you can't fool me. So at the end of the day, I wanted a cigar that's consistent. And when you buy a Cubano cigar, you know you have a quality stick every single time mm -hmm. no matter what you smoke i have people coming into my shop and they're asking me hey what's your favorite cigar you know i'm like all of them and they're like well how could all of them be your favorite because it all depends on the mood see if you have a good line of cigars you don't necessarily have to say always go to the maduro elbow oh, always yeah. go to the Coco Bowl. hey you can pick you can close your eyes reach into our humidor grab any stick and it's going to be a quality stick that's dope that's dope i like that you got your uh I used to call the um, 
um, Golden State Warriors, uh, the the Justice was it the Justice team, the, the the Justice Squad when they had all those super oh. super uh, athletes on there. Uh, so I, I I will translate that over to you. You got the the Justice Squad on on your on your lineup. That's that's really good. Oh oh yeah, and no doubt because you know when you think about it, it's interesting. You brought up the um, and Best Best. You know, I went there. We're the only we were the only cigar brand at a Best Best. Yeah. The reason why is because you got to have, you got to know you have a good stick if you're going into a Best Fest where you got Steve Harvey, Rick Ross, you know, these, and you got folks, you know, they all got my cigars. Cheap and you got them. folks that's coming in that are real cigar smokers. You know, we are very proud, but we're also, everywhere we go, we're going to represent, and we're going to represent the industry well. It's bigger than to Cabano Cigar. When I put a cigar in your hand, I want to make sure that it's the best cigar that you've had. That's dope. That's dope. So tell me a little bit about the um, when 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 you um, when you go into to the cigar world and and you're trying to um, basically choose a cigar not not your own brand but mm -hmm. back in you know back in the time we used to go into the lounges and stuff like mm -hmm. that what were some of the key things the key indicators that that ignited you like yeah this is a good cigar like this is this is something that I need to come back to well you know what's interesting is that. Most people, they, they, they get a cigar based off of either what they're used to smoking or their go-to cigar. When I went into a cigar uh, humidor, I would ask if, was, if, was a, if there's an attendant there. First thing I was asked is, okay, today I feel like smoking uh, Mondoro. So I usually, you know, back in the day, I was a big, I, I love Perdermos back mm -hmm. in the day. Yeah. Okay, so, um, but I would say, hey, I want something a little bit different. You know, I want something full body, something that's going to, you know, and I, and, I, and I judge a cigar, there's qualities of a cigar. Later on, we're going to do cigar uh, sessions. But, you know, first thing uh, uh, a cigar aficionado or a cigar, a torcedor is going to do, I'm going to squeeze that stick. Mm. See if it has some elastic in it. Because mm. guess what? If, if I don't squeeze the stick, it doesn't have, if, it's hard, if it doesn't have any give, guess what it is? It's not going to burn right. That means that it's probably dried out. That's bars right there. I didn't. Oh. I didn't even know that. That's, oh, that, 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 that's free. That's, that's bars. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so if someone hands me a stick, the first thing I'm doing is this. I'm squeezing it. Mm. And most and most true cigar aficionados, they're not going to even let you know. They're going to talk to you while they squeeze it. Ooh. So they're going to say, "Oh, you know, this seems like an interesting stick." Okay. And you know, the first thing I'm going to do is, is squeeze it, but then also, I'm going to make sure that I only. I, I, I like. I like big gauge of cigars, 54 yeah. to 60 gauges. You know, I'm not into the, the little ones. You know, I want something. If I'm going to smoke a cigar, I want a 45 minute to an hour experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Another thing similar to uh, a characteristics of Cubano cigar. You light my cigar once, you don't have to light it again. I play golf. Okay. I light my cigar once. I can hit a couple golf balls, come back to the cart. I got a cigar holder on my cart. Come back to the cart. Pull my cigar out and still puff on it. That's yeah. the sign of a good cigar. That's my ash is going to be long and thick. It's going to stay on. It's going to it's going to be evenly burned all the way around. So there's a lot of characteristics of a good cigar. I can look at what people are smoking, and I can tell you right now. If you see people constantly, hey, let me borrow your, let me borrow your torch, let me light it. <laughs> you, ain't, I, you ain't got to tell me nothing. I already know you got an inferior stick. <laughs> so at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you know, when, when, when I tell my friends all the time, I say, hey, you light my cigar once, you light it properly, you're good. But if you light it four or five times now, unless you're having like a 20 minute conversation and yeah. you're, you're, you're not paying attention to your burn, then I could I could excuse that. But if we're sitting and we're both puffing at the same rate and you got the light yours four or five times and mine's still lit, I'm like, well, hey, you need you may want to trade that out for a Cubano cigar. Yeah, man, you, you need to return <laughs> that bad boy somehow, some way. It needs to be returned. No, no doubt, no doubt. I'm laughing so hard because, like, that was I was that guy. Hey, come <laughs> <a lighter. laughs> Hey, hey, you run out of you run out you run out of fuel for the lighter of one cigar. You know, well, you, <laughs> well, and then I started getting bringing my own cigar, my own cigar lighter, my own torch because I didn't mm -hmm. want to be that guy. Like, hey, can I borrow your lighter? <sighs> So then I was like, man, I'm burning a lot of fuel. This is in my <laughs> earlier days. Like, I'm I'm burning a lot of fuel on one cigar. Like, this is crazy. These cigars, I need to, I need to find a better quality cigar. 
And, and think uh, about it. You know, you, we've all been to Miami. You see uh, down in uh, Little Havana. Shout out to Little Havana 305. But, you know, they play dominoes. Those guys, they don't be, you know, you're playing dominoes. You can't be lighting your cigar with a torch every two minutes. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. you know, that, that, you got <laughs> hey, that thing, you, you, you miss your turn or miss the strategy. You yeah. know, they, they, they got that bad boy got to stay lit all the time. So that's dope. That, 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 that's, that's dope, man. Oh, man. Um, so with that, as far as like Cubano cigars, um, tell me, tell me the, the, not, not in detail. We, we'll talk about that, you know, another time. But tell me the the I would say the the struggles or the the challenges that you had to face when you know building your cigar brand because I know there's a lot of things going on a lot of government regulations and stuff like that we're not gonna get too deep into it but just to skin the surface like tell me like tell me trying to compete against cigarettes versus cigars like this is you know trying to def- uh you know, separate the two, like, tell me the, the, you know, the, the journey with, you know, developing your cigar brand. Well, the first thing I did, I just didn't get out here and develop a cigar brand. I did a lot of R and D, you know, I wanted to make sure I had a good cigar before I entered the market. You know, a lot of people, they just enter the market because they have a flashy band and they don't really have a a great stick. You know, I want to make sure my stick is consistent, but in terms of the difference between a cigar and a cigarette, um, the industry has changed, you know, um, cigarette regulations and cigar regulations are very, uh, are very difficult. You got to know how to market the proper way to market. There's certain things that you can and cannot do, uh, without getting too deep, but I'll say this cigars are smoked by politicians, business owners, billionaires, cigarettes. And I, and I know I'm gonna get in trouble, but typically cigarettes, you know, they're not necessarily, you don't see too many billionaires puffing on a on a cigarette, you know? So, you know, cigars are, even though they're highly regulated, they're a little bit more accepted than your normal cigarette. I'll give you an example. Um, My wife, she she doesn't smoke cigars or cigarettes, but if someone is sitting next to us and she can't see them and they smoke a cigarette, she'll say, hey, someone's smoking a cigarette. Or if someone's smoking a cheap cigar, she goes, someone's smoking a cheap cigar. Mm -hmm. But someone's smoking a good cigar, or someone's smoking a good cigar. See, one thing about cigars is number one, um, they're naturally made. They come from the fields of Nicaragua to the retail site. Philip Morris and all these other cigarette brands there, they got scientists keeping people addicted. Me and you, we can smoke a cigar today and not touch another one for six months. A cigarette smoker can't do that. Yeah. You wanna know why? Because they're, they're made to keep them addicted. Cigars are a social cigar. You know, this is a social measure. I look at this as like a, a glass of wine. Yeah, you know, yeah. you don't have to have a glass of wine every single every single meal. My cigars are the same. You know, it's not it's not an addictive type of uh, of, of hobby, so to speak. It's one that's more progressive, uh, one that's handled properly. But we have a responsibility to make sure that we keep it that way. So we don't let people, you know, I pay money to other groups, organizations or groups that are trying to make sure that we stay separated and not necessarily affiliated with the cigarette. So, so I like, I love that explanation because I hear it all the time. Are you, are you, are you, I mean, cigars are just like a cigarette. I'm like, no, 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 it's, it's not. Don't, don't try to lump me into that because <laughs> this is a whole nother lane and avenue. And I feel like, you know, people try to lump cigar smoking with uh you know cigarettes which is definitely not the case no no doubt definitely not the case um so tell me tell me like you know as we know me and you know we in the cigar industry we love cigars we smoke them Mm -hmm. um tell me the difference between the hobbyist and the lifestyle cigar smoker oh wow i love that well our motto is cubano cigars is not just a cigar it's a lifestyle let me tell you what we mean about it um you know, we, we create experiences in life. And we want, you know, years ago, when you passed out a cigar, when someone had a baby, guess what they got? A cigar. Boy or girl. Someone got married, guess what they got? Cigar. Someone graduated, guess what they got? A cigar. You don't see someone passing someone a cigarette when a baby was born. <laughs> you know, so, so at the end of the day, it had prestige. It has meaning. You know, we get, uh, my, my, my social media is uh, on IG is, 
uh, Cubano underscore cigars. You go out there, you'll see pictures. I have a gentleman yesterday, yesterday he sent me a picture. He's, he's on vacation and he's walking on the beach by himself, watching the sunset. And guess, he could have took any cigar in the world with him. Guess what he took? He took a Cubano cigar and he's holding it up, you see? And he's taking a picture. So you know what? I, I, I'm enjoying my vacation. And, I, and Cubano Cigar is part of that experience. We have another young lady. She went to South Africa. She's riding dune buggies in, in the desert, you know, just kind of on the beach, just kind of tearing it up. She pulls over, has a, has a nice hat, shows a Cubano Cigar, you know, sends me a picture. I'm enjoying a Cubano Cigar. See, we're all about lifestyle. We're yeah. all about living an abundant lifestyle. We're all about showing action, movement. We're doing this thing. You know, if you want the old man cigar, we're not the old man cigar. We're about folks like Invest Fest who are making moves, making money, doing different things, and even relaxing. And even if you go on your back deck and you just watch the birds and the sunset, you guess what? You got a Cubano cigar. You have a lifestyle. It's a changed image. It's a new beginning. It clears your head. It gives you focus. It gives you motivation. It gives you, it, it gives you encouragement. So that way, when you go to bed the next the next morning, you wake up, man. I'm so glad I had that stick. You know, you had that moment, Bobby, when you you know you had a rough day, get you yeah. a drink, get, get your stick, and next morning you wake up. Guess what? I'm ready to hit it now. Yeah, so, yeah, that's how it was after Invest Fest. Like all that information that was that I was <laughs> consuming, I was like, man, I am drained. I need, I was, I need a cigar. <laughs> I didn't want to, I didn't want to smoke the Cubanos uh, cigar because it was raining. At that time, because I was like, nah, I want to I wanna make sure this is the right vibe when I smoke the Cubano cigar. So I ended up picking up another cigar and smoking that one, which was, you know, right for that setting. Um, and like, like we talked about before, you know, every cigar is not the right cigar for every occasion. You know, when it was raining, that was not the right cigar for, you know, that occasion. So um, when I did smoke that cigar outside, I was out, out in the, in the, uh, on my balcony. Um, smoking the, the Cubano cigar, you know, you know, magnificent, man. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, I definitely, I definitely appreciate you being on this, on this, on this podcast and, and, uh, you know, taking the time out of your busy schedule for, for being here. I, I definitely appreciate it. Um, here on the cigar, uh, well, sticks and combos, uh, we like to do, uh, two things. Um, I will say a phrase and you just let me know what that means to you. Okay. All right. So in your own words, what does the phrase uh, smoke don't choke mean to you? Oh, that's, that's awesome. Um, smoke don't choke to me means um, a lot of people rush the experience of a cigar. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you, when you think about smoke don't choke, Choking could be literally, or you could be actually choking. You could be choking, or you could be, or you could be choking the cigar. What I mean by choking the cigar? Mm -hmm. Well, cigars are meant to burn slow, catch your vibe, have a discussion, and 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 enjoy it. You know, most people when they smoke a cigar, they either smoke it too fast and don't enjoy the experience, or they smoke it too slow. And, and, and lose the experience. So when I say smoke, don't choke, don't choke the experience out of it. You know, um, you know, don't, you know, and, and I know, you know, and for the novice, don't take it in your lungs because then you are going to choke. <laughs> hey, say, that, say that one more time. Say that one more time. Well, for the novice cigars, I tell people all the time, you know, I have people come to my shop and they're like, you know, I'm a first time smoker. And I love smoke that first, first time smokers because let me tell you this, we all have begun there. Yes. And I hear horror stories where someone gave them Mondoro the first time they smoked it and didn't tell them anything. Hey, smoke this and, you know, you good. Well, you know, I, I like, I think we should educate our, our first time smokers. If you're a smoke time, first time smoker, this is a great avenue to learn how to smoke. But I tell them all the time, cigars are not meant to go into your lungs, come out your nose. It's like blowing in, blowing in and blowing out real smooth. Real, real slow, and enjoy the experience. You know, don't don't think you have to rush it. You know, don't smoke the cigar unless you got forty five minutes to an hour, and really enjoy the moment. You know, life is about enjoying moments. You know, we've just been the COVID and everything else. 
man, we need some cigars in our life. You know, and life's too short to smoke a cheap cigar. You yeah. owe it to yourself to get you a premium cigar and enjoy life. If you work and you don't put it in, guess what? The least you could do for yourself is to enjoy a great cigar. So when I say smoke, don't choke, don't, and, don't, and I'm not, let me, let me just say this one. And don't bring people around you that's choked the experience either. There's no negative vibes when I smoke my cigar. I know that. You know, right. Hey, hey, you know what? Bring some positivity with you, with the room. Yeah. You know, hey, it's, hey, even if you have the worst day in the world, when you sit down with a Cubano cigar, it's a great day at that point going forward. So, you know, don't choke the experience. Don't choke the life out of the room. Oh, so. that's bars, man. Oh, no doubt. No that's doubt. Bars. No, no, no doubt. Oh, if you're going to choke the experience, that. go drink some, go, go smoke someone else's cigar. Don't smoke Cubano cigars. We're all about that, that straight vibe, that, that, that positive experience. I love that, man, because, you know, I know in my earlier days, First thing, I love uh, new scar smokers. Like, it, it makes me cringe too. And it was like, oh, yeah, I got me a Maduro cigar. You know, it was just, I just didn't like it. And I'm like, no, no, no. First of all, you got the wrong, you got the cigar was too strong for you. Obviously, you got to, you got to build that up. And I always tell them the big don'ts. All right. Don't eat on an empty stomach. Yep. Don't inhale the cigar. And, if you're going to start a cigar, you better finish the cigar. Absolutely. Especially Absolutely. if I give it to you. That's right. <laughs> That's disrespectful, man. You don't feel me, you know, <laughs> finish the cigar totally. I, I totally, I totally agree with you. That's totally disrespectful to, to leave a cigar uh, unfinished. It asks questions, you know. There, there, I don't care if you think you're a cigar aficionado, there's always something you can learn. Yeah, so I'm at the end of the day, it. ask questions, understand it. And, and do you, just because you, if you want to smoke, a mild cigar, that's cool. I know a lot of experienced cigar smokers that smoke mild cigars. Yeah. You know, it's, it ain't, you know, ain't, you're not more manly if you smoke a Mondoro versus a Connecticut. At yeah. the end of the day, do what makes you happy at that particular moment. Yeah, most definitely. I definitely appreciate that insight. Um, last question. Uh -huh. What is one thing that you want to be known for? Wow, that's that's a great question. You know what? I want to be known for the cigar company that you know when you when you when you made that that, that special moment or you wish your I'll give you a perfect example when you with your significant other or your wife and y'all sitting up on the deck and y'all just bought your first house or had your first baby and she's just like smoking you know you smoking your cigar she's smoking her cigar you got the wine going and you're just thinking man Cubano cigars was part of that experience you know what we we're all about family. You know, Cubans are all about family heritage, you know, getting together, just having a good time. I want to be known for having a premium cigar that always cultivated a good time. We're, we're, we're not we're not here to to be you know, we're not we're not going to have all the, the sexy women on our on our on our advertisement. We're all about people enjoying experiences, because guess what? When this life is over, you're not going to remember how much money's in your account. You're not going to remember where you live. You When you're on your deathbed, you're going to remember about the experience you have. And I want to make sure Cubano Cigars was part of that experience. You know, and when people post pictures all over the world and say, hey, I'm smoking a Cubano cigar, that tells me that they that they're fulfilling the experience that my dad loved, that we that we still enjoy. And I live vicariously through those pictures. So, you know, when you look at that, that's the best, that's the best accolade you can get is that the cigars are being smoked at Invest Fest when guys are making millions and millions of dollars and, they're, and, they're, and, they're, and their mind is being expanded and they're smoking that cigar at the hotel and they got that million dollar idea and guess what was sitting right there in the asterisk, that Cubano cigar and we are absolutely murdering this thing. So if you want to change your lifestyle, change your experience, I tell people all the time, have a Cubano cigar, it'll change your life. And I honestly believe that. So there we got it. There we have it, folks. Hey, Sticks and Convos. Cubano Cigars, we are uh, in the building. <laughs> in the building. I appreciate you, man. It was definitely a pleasure, definitely a blessing for you to take your time out, you know, to spend some time uh, with our audience, with me, um, dropping those jewels, dropping those gems. Like, I didn't even know about the, you know, the, the springboard test. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't know about that. You know, I learned something today. And I've been smoking cigars for, what, five years now? So it was like, you know, every, like, like you said, every day, you learn something you know every day you learn something absolutely i want to thank sticks and combos for having us on cubano cigars hey can i do something i want to share one thing with you guys okay. uh those of you 
that are on. Did you see us on um, Six and Combos? If you follow Cubano Cigars on on uh, Instagram, Cubano underscore cigars. Um, and you put sticks and combos, we're going to choose, and you follow us, we're going to choose two people, two, to, two maybe two to three, and we're going to send some cigars to them and do our drive. But you got to follow sticks and combos and Cubano cigars. Put sticks and combos in your, in your comments, and we'll definitely be doing that to you. But we look forward to some big things on sticks and combos. Dope, dope. And on top of that, I'm going to add to it, those two, those same two people is going to get a free cigar ashtray. Oh, check that out. Free cigar ashtray, 100% cement, gold mirror. Hey, let's get it. So if you like gold, I certainly do. I love gold. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> I want one of those. <laughs> on, top, on top of that, hey, those two cigar, those two uh, winners is going to get a cigar ashtray. Let's Dang. get it. And, and, and once we get in the ashtray and cigar, we just want a picture to show how we celebrate this thing on sticks and combos and Cubano cigars all day, every day. Every day. It's a lifestyle. No <laughs> doubt. <laughs> all right, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Sticks and combos, Cubano cigars. Let's get it. Tune in. And I'm going to see you another time. Peace.